Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. This is the Happy Faces group. Uh, one more day. Okay, good. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, Anna. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Bernardo. Good evening. How are you, Good evening, Bernardo? everybody. No, long time not see. Yeah, teacher. Antier se, se fue la energía eléctrica a las ocho y vino hasta las dos de la tarde del siguiente día. Por yeah. con el Antier. Terrible. Y ayer se fue a media clase la corriente eléctrica otra vez, por eso estuve problemas para conectarme ayer, pero hoy sí ya no hay tormenta, hasta ahorita solo unos truenos, pero no, no está lloviendo. No, y aquí temprano estaba, estaba igual, yo creí que iba a tener problemas, pero no, gracias a Dios solo fue tipo como 4 o 5 de la tarde, pues, apagones. Pero creo que es por el storm, right? Es the, it's the weather. El clima es, sometimes does not help. Okay, no, no, no nos ayuda mucho, right? And what else? Mm. Let me see if the platform is ready to work. Okay, I have some questions here. Okay, so I want you to take a look at these uh, questions. Okay, and we're going to answer them uh, one by one. Okay, for example, when in the first question we have, do you enjoy uh, speaking English? Okay, remember that this is uh, a personal opinions, right? Personal opinions. And when we when we uh, when we give our personal opinion is there is no correct or incorrect answer, okay? Because it's that is your opinion, okay? So you can say yes, no, uh, I love it, I really enjoy it a lot. Okay, what is your case? Okay, now who wants to speak first? Do you do you enjoy speaking English? Of course. Okay. For example, say Me. of course. Look at because the possible, look always at the possible answers, right? Of course, okay. I do. Um, and because, because of course I do. Because I le I'm learning every day. Because I learn. Uh, every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one opinion. What else? Yes, uh-huh. 
Yes, yes. I love it. Okay, that's another way to say it. Okay, say yes. I love it. Okay, you can you you can even use depending on the emphasis an exclamation point, right? Depending on the emphasis. What else? Yes, he's great. Yes. Okay. He's great. You say yes. It well you can use contraction. It's great. Say it's great. Also, you can use an um, exclamation point if you want to. Mm -hmm. because, what is another one? Uh -huh. Because, because um, uh, we, ¿cómo podríamos? we are opening new, new doors. Okay, because uh, we open New, new doors, or also you can use that one to say, uh, because or be, for better opportunities, because oops, because it gives English, right? It gives uh, us more opportunities, okay. Yes, I like it. Hey, okay. yes. I like it. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I, I like it too, but I really I really enjoy the the speaking English. If I can practice with another people and I can communicate with a lot of a lot of friends or of co-workers but is only in these classes if if I can practice with another people. Okay, if I can practice with yes I really like it. With other people. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, that's correct. Yeah, because sometimes you know if uh, mm -hmm. if you cannot practice with other people then it's I mean, it's not, it's not good, right? Uh, yes, I really... Yes, I really like it. Like it. I really like it. And I try to use it. And I try to use it in my everyday conversation with my son. And I try to use it. To use it in my everyday conversation to with my son. In... My everyday conversation with my son. Okay. So you see in this. Case, is, uh -huh. In my case, because uh, I think it's the first language around the world. Yes, I like it. In because my I case, think. Mm -hmm. My case, I, I think, I think, is the first language. It is the first. Uh huh. The first language. First language. Uh, around the world, to communicate it around the world. Okay, the first language. To communicate. Say around the world. Okay. <clears throat> well, you know that, for example, the well, le, uh, English is very important, especially for for business, right? I think uh, it's very popular and is probably a, a tendency when you are making business, right? So that's why English, in that sense, is probably one of the most or the first languages around the world, right? Because of the business. Many people use English to to communicate uh, for business, right? Also for, uh, for uh, let's say, um, 
for cultural aspects, okay, studies, okay, but the main main reason is the business. Uh, El Salvador is in in English is very uh, is very low, right? Because I think only like forty something percent of uh, of Salvadorian people can communicate in English, okay? So then that means it's it's very very low, right? Can but, we say it's the second language in the Salvador? Uh, probably, probably. It could be yes. I think it's the second one because uh, the most of the school, the, uh, <clears throat> all the schools, for example, the private schools, especially private institutions, they what they offer is like English, right? They offer English. They don't offer other language. Only the Dutch school, the Escuela Alemana, the Dutch school, or the Lycée Français is the ones that they they have French and they have German. So mostly English can be a second language. Not officially, right? Not officially, but it's what the people uh, needs more for business. Okay, so you see here we have uh, several opinions, right? That you can see here, say of course, as I do, then I have like three, six, seven of them. And there can be others, right? Now, what is the best way to improve your speaking? Practice. Only practice, yeah, that's right. Practice, 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 teacher. Okay, there is one that says practice. practice. Talk, 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 talk. Practice. Yes. Listening. Practice in my case, make listening perfect. Okay, so the, uh, I use ditch in English, right? It says practice, practice, practice makes perfect. In cualquier cosa que hagamos, practice, practice, pr practice makes perfect. Makes perfect. Okay, if you want to play sports, practice, practice, and practice. If you want to uh, write, Practice, practice, practice. But, you know, uh, for example, also this is practicing, but also, a, for example, a, not to, not to be shy. Okay, not to, not to be scared. Okay, not to be scared of, to fail. Practicing uh -huh, uh -huh. or failing, right? Okay. So then these are, for example, other important things, right? Because sometimes sing we Sing songs. Uh -huh, sing songs. Okay. Okay. This is another one. Sing uh, songs. Songs with, with okay. lyrics. Uh -huh. Sing songs. That's good. That's another one. <laughs> Igual que el anuncio. Right? No le garantizamos que va a cantar bien, pero va a aprender a hablar. Ok, good. What else? Sing songs. Reading, watch movies. Watch movies in English. Watch movies in English, but for speaking, but that's more for listening, but for speaking. Yeah. Yeah, but no, but uh, really, the, that. Uh, Narrate movies. Narrate. <laughs> Narrate movies, tell, tell stories. Okay, you tell stories. Okay, for example, this is, you know, when you try to uh, generate, when you try to produce English with your thoughts. Uh, also, think in English. Okay, that's another one. Okay, think in English. To produce in English. Okay, what is the best way to improve your listening? Uh, somebody says, alguien dijo ahí, watch, uh, watch movies. Programs. Watch movies. Think music. Watch movies. Mm -hmm. uh, listening podcast. 
movies and listening podcasts and TV too. series, right? TV programs or TV series. Podcast. Chatting right. with native uh, person in English language. TV series, okay. Uh, let's say, uh, for example, uh, chat uh, or... Yes, chat. The, th the thing is that here we use chat, but actually it's text, right? But you can also talk. use, for example, talk. Speaking. Okay. Talk, talk to native speakers or yes, talk to native speakers. Podcast is good for me. Uh, listen. Yes. Listen uh, to podcasts. Okay. Hear music. Listen to music. Okay. That's another one that could be, you know, uh, a great help, right? Teacher, talking with uh, native people helps you to improve to improve your English. When I was in the university, I I was I was uh, in English class too. And I talked with Nazi people that came from the United States and they helped me so much. And I feel naturally talking with them they, I, because I put in practice all that I learned with, with them, with, with they. With them, uh -huh. with them, that's correct. Yes, you know, this is one, probably one of the best ways because when you uh, speak, when you listen to them, Hey, hey, borré la pregunta, right? <laughs> yes. No, control, you put in, in red. Uh, oh, yes, I, yes, I put in red, yes. Control Z. Yeah, that's the, the one I change. It's okay. Good. All right, so then the other one is, uh, what is the best way to improve your listening? Then you have this one. Movies, TV series, Hello, speakers. And? Something right in the chat uh, recommended that at ATP. Uh, it says download some app, for example, Hello Talk. Ah, okay. Hello. So how how Hello does Talk. Hello Talk, uh, Fatima? Okay. Uh, in Hello Talk, uh, we can speak with another people, uh, native native uh, I mean, people, for example. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. uh, it's a free uh, app. Yes, it's free. Okay, good. Okay, so you can install it in your in in the people. Uh, it's like let's say uh, similar to a uh, Facebook or something like that. No, uh, or, it's like a WhatsApp, but okay. with a cell phone number. Uh -huh. And you and, find people there? No. Uh, por ejemplo, nosotros también, si no queremos, o sea, también eh, prohíben lenguaje obsceno y cosas mm -hmm. de ese tipo, porque okay. si no se lo cancela. Mm -hmm. All right. But how do you, how do you contact other people? There, 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 there are a list, mm -hmm. and oh, another people can contact me. Ah, too. okay, all right. You write your your name and your country, and the language. Yes, and the language. Okay. Uh, for example, American people uh, want to practice practice Spanish. Uh huh. Sometimes. Okay, and then you. You speak Spanish with them and then also English to practice. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a very good option, right? For And that one is for listening and speaking. Okay. Well, if you can install it, it's a good option. Uh, okay, you know, uh, it's very important nowadays uh, that we use technology, right? The technology is there so we can, we can, uh, we can use it. Uh, and Fatima, hello talk is a uh, one word or separated? Or is one word? 
One word. Uh -huh. One word, hello talk, or select, or separated. Ah, uh, uh, no. Junto. Unido. One word. Uh, <laughs> together. One word. <laughs> one word. <laughs> one word. Uh -huh. One word. Uh, en vez de decir together, <laughs> se dice one word. Hello talk one is word. one word. Va unido, right? Hello talk. Link okay. Word. Good. Exactly, right? So then, then you have the hello talk. Good. What is the best way to improve your vocabulary? Maybe reading learning books. reading books, that's right. And yes. learning about a lot of a lot of words and verbs. Reading well books Producing. or any uh, let's say any uh, material. Any in English material. Okay, in English. Okay, any material? Well, any, any material in English, right? So that could be the one. Reading and traducing. Uh, translating. Translating. Um, I don't know. Traducing. <laughs> okay, yes, translating. Uh, Yo diría interpreting, porque saben, inter... muchas veces traducir literalmente no, es, no tiene sentido. Interpreting. It's better if you, if you use the interpretation, right? Then to adapt it to our, to our language. But um, I don't know if it is, in my opinion, translating, I think is better if you understand in English and then you use it in English, okay? Uh, because if you translate everything, someti uh, sometimes it has different meanings, uh, like the word get, uh, especialmente los uh, two word verbs. Esto no tiene que ver con, con más aquí, two, two word, two or three sometimes, two word verbs. For example, when you have two word verbs, a, what is a two word verb? You say, for example, let me see, turn in. Go swimming. <laughs> turn in. Get up. Okay, what is turn in? Como encender. Encender. Okay, it's yeah, a set. Um, okay, there is a, for example, uh, when you have a homework, when you have a homework, okay, the homework is for tomorrow, okay? I'm going to give you a homework for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow you have to write your biography in English, okay? Then you have to turn in this homework tomorrow at 7 p.m. If you turn in the homework at 7.30, you will get a zero. What is turn in? Terminar. Like a change? Like what? A change? No, for example, remember, I have a, you have a homework, okay? Like homework, letting or sending? Submitting. Okay, to submit. Okay, to submit, uh -huh, to deliver, to present, to give. Okay, you have to give me the homework, you have to turn in the homework. And then, then the next day you say, teacher, porque tengo cinco de nota? Because you didn't turn in your homework. Exactly, right? There you go. So you see, it's better, it's mejor usarlo en contexto, y eso es lo que sucede a veces, que turn in, turn on, con la palabra que va a la par, van a cambiar muchos significados de verbo. Entonces, eso, sería... no, que eso también puede ser, por ejemplo, convertir. Ajá. Turn into. ¿Verdad? Ese sería turn into, convertirse en. Cuando se enoja, he turns into a, 
lion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when he gets angry, he turns into a, I don't know. Okay. I imagine it says, right? Uh, are those the <laughs> phrasal verbs? Those are the phrasal verbs, exactly. Phrasal verbs, two word verbs, okay, exactly, phrasal verbs. And then uh, that's why you know that translation is not so good, okay? Because the, there are many, in English there is a lot of, and besides there are also, um, how do you call this? The idiomatic expressions, okay? So there are some idioms, okay, idiomatic expressions that also have uh, uh, a different meaning. For example, if I said uh, later, it has been very difficult for me to put two and two together. Okay. So later, it has been very difficult for me to put two and two together. What do you think? Some expression. Uh huh. And the meaning? Como que va a ser muy difícil ordenar algo. Okay, like something like that, right? It could be. It has been difficult for me to. Huh? Which one did you say, Eugenia? Oh, it's uh, like making chaos. Uh -huh, like, uh, like figure something out, right? So then, uh, for example, mm -hmm. like, uh, como resolver algo, right? Resolver cosas. You know, it's been difficult to put two and two together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been difficult for me to figure out my life. Okay, yes. so I have so many things to solve problems, to solve situations. Okay, so then, eh, como sea, está siendo es difícil para mí sumar dos y dos. Yeah. Encajar algo. Ah, you're saying something. Oh. This is interpretation. Okay, so but this one, you know, for example, to improve Safe vocabulary. And so. Excuse me. Uh, the shapes and sound have it the same. Mm -hmm. The separate the for interpretation. Exactly right. So then, safe, uh, safe and sound. Safe, safe and sound. Okay. So I am home, safe and sound. Mm -hmm. I will return the book. Here's your book, the book mm -hmm. that you lent me, and it's safe and sound, right? San y salvo. And then you have the the expressions, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that we use and the best the best way to improve vocabulary is read and use vocabulary in context use vocabulary in context okay si ven una palabra nueva póngala en un contexto de su vida right and then, de esa manera, se va a acordar más que memorizarla. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. In the second question, yes. uh, you can, uh, to, um, to improve your speaking, you, well, I, I, I talk with some uh, partners, some uh, here in the class, and I told him, I, I told him, or I told them, uh, that if you want to be better in the speaking, I don't know if it's right that, mm -hmm. but if you want to to be better, mm -hmm. you to can. Uh, uh -huh, you uh -huh, okay? You can you can uh, write the 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 mm -hmm. word. You write the word and like literally like the. the um, uh, okay. For the pronunciation too. Yes. Exactly, right? Yes. That's another one. 
eh, for example, how you listen to it, como uno le escucha, right? So that's another thing to improve pronunciation, okay? To improve the pronunciation. Yes, that's true. Okay, so then if you see, for example, what is the best way to improve uh, writing? Okay, this one, uh, this one is a little bit more complex, okay? Writing is complex, not only in English, but also in Spanish, okay? Because remember that the language that we use when we speak is not the we same. Uh -huh. It's not the same that we use when we write. For example, here we need to uh, organize ideas. Okay. R writing summaries of readings. Writing summaries of readings, yes. Uh, what else? Listen very careful. Listen very carefully. Okay. What else? I send text in English with a uh, English media. Okay. People. What else? Have a, have a good pronunciation because if you want to to write very good, if you want to write, for for example uh our like our it's it's very similar mm -hmm. so you have to uh listen well and pronunciation better okay yes that's one right so that's what they say organize or organize your ideas okay a uh, this is British. This is British and this is USA. Okay, yes, that's one way, for example, when you mm -hmm. organize your ideas uh, and also, you know, to, to follow a structure. What is the Here. Uh -huh. One of my brothers, um, she's, he, he is watching a, a series from the United Kingdom. They talk the British English and I, I understand if I listen in more carefully the, mm -hmm. the, the conversation in the series. You need to listen more carefully the pronunciation to understand the the movie or the series, in this case, the series, the conversation. Yes, that's a, that's mostly for for listening. Yes, for listening is is good to you not know, to uh, let's say to to listen to all these kind of programs, right? So here we have, for example, uh, supporting para one and two and three and a uh, conclusion. Okay, in Spanish, I mean, in Spanish, in speaking, we do not need this organization. Okay, in this, eh, cuando estamos hablando, hablamos de lo que viene, right? It's, uh, let's say, uh, improvised, okay? But when we write conjugate verbs in all tenses, yes, Fatima, that's true. We have to conjugate ver verbs in all the tenses, okay, this is another one, a grammar use, grammar use of tenses, yes, conjugate the verbs, uh, for example, when you're going to write, you need to begin with an introduction, um, topic, right, in tema, the thesis statement, then you have the supporting ideas or paragraph, tres párrafos que uh, then un soporte a, las, a la idea principal, right? And then you have a conclusion, que es lo que decía Edwin, es un summary. En la conclusión es un summary de lo que hemos escrito antes. So that's why the writing is more uh, complex. 
And this one requires oof, a big effort, right? But the important part is also the spelling. Okay, the spelling too. These two things. Okay. Estos son básicos. Tener buena ortografía y buen uso de gramática. All right, and then vocabulary. Okay, si ven, eh, tanto en escritura como en, la, en hablar, siempre nos vamos a encontrar con limitantes en el vocabulario. Okay, ya han escuchado ustedes del libro del, del examen del TOEFL? Yes. Yes. Bueno, ese examen tiene. And en el TOEIC, eh, tiene eh, la parte de la escritura y la parte de speaking, ¿ok? Y mucho de esos exámenes tiene que ver eh, la falla de ese examen en el vocabulario. Que a la hora de hablar no se encuentran las palabras o las frases adecuadas con la gramática adecuada, ¿ok? Entonces, estas dos son claves. Right, when you're talking about the tanto en el writing como en el speaking. Okay. And the last one is, what is the most difficult part of learning English? Organize ideas. Nothing. <laughs> okay. You don't have someone aquí, to talk aquí. every day. Uh, okay. Remember to think in English. Yes. Okay, yes. For example, I say nothing. Okay, so it's la mentalidad que vamos a tener. Pero sí, right, for example, not to have someone to talk to, not to have uh, somebody to practice with is difficult because when you have people to practice with, it's nice. Okay, you can uh, put in practice what you learn. Uh, to remember. How, uh, uh, good but at you. the same time, yeah. at the same time, is is not good because the the same person, if they didn't know about the, about the rules, um, they they cannot give you um, the mistakes ah, okay. and you don't improve. Mm -hmm. No, but you know, for example, that talking to people uh, helps you. The the brain is the, our brain is powerful. Okay, el, el cerebro es poderosísimo, right? Eh, muchas veces de tanto repetirlo eh, y hablarlo y practicarlo, uno empieza a pensar en inglés. Okay. Y, en, y uno puede detectar errores, incluso sus mismos errores. Right? Eh, cuando uno pronuncia mal algo, uno sabe que lo ha hecho mal. Right? Say, oh, no, I don't like that pronunciation. And then, uh, and that's why it is good also, uh, this one, here in speaking, you can, no, this one. record your voice. Mm. Okay, grabarse uno mismo. And then listen to you. Okay, ahí uno se aprende a modular. Okay, sabe si está exagerando, si lo está haciendo bien. Eh, Bernardo dijo una palabra, okay. Speak naturally. Okay, no, it, it is important. It is important to speak naturally. Okay. Not to exaggerate too much, you know, every time you speak and then you go to, no, I say, no, normally, okay? Like if you were speaking Spanish, okay, you're gonna do it in the same way. For this thing, I send voicemail to a friend who is uh, learning too. Okay. So, Yes, before I forget, is mm -hmm. Penny. Okay, I'm gonna take the picture for the attendance before we forget. Yes, uh -huh. uh, for example, sending a uh, voice notes is, is that's a good practice. Oh, and you know, for example, the and singing, singing Eugenia. Mm -hmm. So yes. tomorrow, are you gonna sing? <laughs> Thank ah? you. <laughs> ah, ya le, ya, ya le voy a hacer la propaganda. <laughs> 
People, you know that. Eh, les digo. Oh, I I say um, yes. all the time that I love singing. Ya han oído ustedes usted cantar a Eugenia. Ah, uh, that part not. <laughs> ¿Ah? No. Ok, Maña, mañana les va a cantar una canción. <laughs> En serio, no, no, no es broma. Ok. No, no, no. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Ok, hay que. Get ready. Right now. See, right now. No, right now, no, because she has to prepare herself. Rehold chili peppers, please. Le va a can... No, le va a cantar My Way. <laughs> my Way. No. I don't know which one. Clean biscuit. ¿Cuál va a cantar? Uh, which one are you going to sing, Eugenia? I'm going to look for someone, but... Okay, good. Okay, so you're going to have a space for singing. Okay, so you can... You, you, everybody can be ready to... For the, for the singing show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And the last one, okay, before... Okay, here we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so then uh, I will send you the document. Entonces lo voy a mandar para que lo vean y agreguen ideas. Right. And tomorrow I'm going to have some other questions. Okay, right now we're going to see the, the final test. Just to check para que vean si tienen alguna duda, right, about this exam. And then you have here the listening. Okay, here we have. Okay, here we have to do is was to listen to the conversation and select the correct answer, right? And then you have catering. You have to has four, seven, nine brothers. Nowadays, Mark is living at home with a friend, with his wife. Sharon usually goes to the gym. What day or how often? And some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are where? The place. Okay. You can hear. You can? It's so low. We need to higher the, the sound. Okay. Uh, it's so well, low. El sonido, well, uh, I can uh, check in su sonido también. Yo voy a decir acá, pero voy a compartir el sonido, maybe. Okay. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters. Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers. Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night. All my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah. I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. <laughs> That's for sure. Four. 
Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Well, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay. So, how many brothers and sisters does Catherine have? Seven. 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 Brothers, how many? Three. Three, okay. And sisters? Four. That's four, right? Good. Where is Mark living nowadays? With a friend. With a friend. With a friend. With a friend. And Sharon goes to the gym? Three times a week. Three times a week. She's not a couch potato, okay? You know couch potato? I don't know. Okay, nope. lazy person. Mm -hmm. Okay, couch so, potato, is a potato that spends, spends all day watching TV or playing video games. Couch potato is a saco de papa, no. no. Something like that. Yes. Es como, ah, para el first ever camp couch potato es como ver un un bloque en un sillón, right, all day, okay, couch watching potato. TV. Una papa en un sofá. Yes, exactly, that's why I call it couch potato. Okay, uh, the other one is some, some of the men's younger brothers are sisters. Are working abroad. Are working abroad. Are working abroad. What is the meaning of abroad? Outside the country, um, in another country. Outside. In Guatemala, Honduras, the United States, Mexico, or any other place. Wow, look. 25 points. Voy camino on the S, right? In my exam. Good. Then that's the listening. Then the other one is the complete the conversation. We have uh, this part. It says sent, uh, complete the sentences with do, does, or would. The first one is would. would you like, right? Would you like to see a movie tonight? Uh huh. Sure. What time does it start? <laughs> Offer, right? Offer something. Yes. The next one. Do. 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 Do you like horror movies? Do you like horror <laughs> movies? Uh, not really. How about this one? Does. Oh, I love it. Uh -huh, because it's that your friend Ricardo, yes. right? Yes. What kind of music does your friend Ricardo like? Mm -hmm. yeah. Complete the conversation, use the present continuous of the verb, right? This is simple present and would, now present continuous. Mm -hmm. Sister. If your sister is studying, uh -huh. is, is your she studying or is she? Uh -huh. Is she studying? Is she studying? Correct. Eh, si hicieran ustedes la pregunta individualmente, dijeran, is your sister studying? También estaría correcto, right? According, de acuerdo a Carlos, solo han puesto, is she studying? Okay, good. Now, uh, next, the next one. Now she isn't. She is working. She is working. That's correct. Right? Is working. Eh, remember, recuerden que si le ponen toda la oración, le va a salir mala, right? Tienen que poner solo lo que falta. Right? Only what it is missing. The next one? Is he waiting? Is he? Waiting. Is he waiting? Okay. Is who is he waiting, right? Who is he waiting? Is he waiting for? Is he waiting? Okay. Is he waiting for? His girlfriend Maggie is coming. It's coming. She's coming. She's coming. coming. Okay, she's coming and on, on the, bus. the bus. All right. 
Okay, other 25 points. Good. That's nice. Then we have the multiple choice. Choose the correct word. Now we have options. Uh, which one completes the sentence better? Jay yoga. does yoga. Yoga. Does yoga. yoga every morning before breakfast. Before breakfast, that's correct. How about number two? Go. Uh oh. Go. go. How often, How do, often you do you go, go. swimming? Go in the swimming. Summer? Yes, remember that always go swim um, outside outside door or outdoor activities, right? Outdoor activities usually go with go and swimming. Go swimming, go camping, uh, go hiking, go sightseeing, go hiking, uh -huh. go climb uh, climbing mountains, okay, go climbing. That's it. And the last one, I sometimes play baseball. Baseball. Baseball, yes. Baseball. The other ones baseball. do not make sense. I sometimes play baseball with my friends. Okay, good. That's all the 25 points. And is that another one? And this one we have the the reading option. Uh, Ernesto, can you do me a favor? Could you please yes. read? Could you please read the introduction and the first and second paragraph? Right. Audrey Tattoo. Audrey Tattoo is a young friend young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978, Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. 1980s and 1990s, Audrey, Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies, in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize, Best, best Newcomer for her acting on French TV in 1999. Perfect. Thank you very much. Brian, read the next one. Okay. In 2000, 2002. 2002. Okay. Audrey had in, in many movies, including Boyeus, Voyage in 90, in 90, 92. 2000. 2000, excuse me. Then she plays a young woman called Emily in a movie of the same name, Emily, in 2001. In French, is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great in Not, I Am Not, in 2002. 2002. Okay, thank you very much. Harrison? Uh, the last one. Okay, um, Andrew has a big year. She's acts in the Spanish uh, apartment. Yeah, apartment. And the uh, and he loves me. He loves me. He loves me not. She also has in 30, 30 things. This is the first time the six speaks English in a movie. Okay, very good. So, uh, well, I don't know her. Do you know her? Yes, I, I know her. Oh, really? 
Yes, sure. she's a, a beautiful actress. Uh -huh. uh, I love Emily, for sure. It's a great movie, very recommended. It's a, a little different because it's a French movie. Okay. Yeah, the, well, yes. uh, it's uh, very enjoyable. <laughs> all right, that's great. Yeah, because uh, the first time I heard about Audrey Tatu, it was here, like, I don't know, like three months ago when I was teaching this level. But before, no, I never heard about that. But uh, well, it seems to be, you know, a good actress, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, but yes. it's funny, it's funny that in 2003 is the first film that she speaks English in a movie. Uh, you know that uh, French, uh, French movies, they have, I mean, they have good dramas. They have good movies. Okay? Mm -hmm. The only thing that we are used to only to listen or watch movies from the United States, Hollywood, and sometimes probably from Spain. Okay. Then we have questions here. And let's see. Hilda, would you please read the question number one or the first sentence? Sorry, teacher, I can hear you. Can you read? Well, can you read the first one, the number one? Uh, in high school, Audrey talked to acts. Acts. In place. In place. Okay, very good. Excellent. Then we have uh, Ingrid, number two. Um, many Americans like the movie. May Americans like the movie? Emily. Emily. <laughs> Emily. Okay. Good. Excellent. Uh, Astrid, how about number three? Audrey at in three movie in 2003. 2003. Mm -hmm. 2003. Okay. And Ana Victoria? You take the victory, Anna Victoria. Hello? Anna Victoria, don't leave us alone. No? She fell asleep. No. Okay. Then uh, Daniel, Daniel Gardo, number four. Number four, teacher. Yes, sir. Let me, let me. In her movies, Audrey usually speaks. Bad, my teacher. It's general, right? Usually. How? Oh, French. English in a movie? English? Speak English? No, that no, was at the end. That was in the end. French. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. French. Usually, usually French, but in the end, uh, he loves me, uh, he loves me, he loves me not. Also, uh, they're very pretty things. This is the first movie she speaks in. Okay. And then you have 25. Okay, pueden darse gusto viendo mis notas, right? Un día más para mi colección. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, no hay otro? No, 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 that's the end. Okay, yes. Yes, that's the end of this one. Okay, so we finished the platform with this, uh, with this test, you see, it's very simple, not complicated. Uh, no veo errores ahorita, right? So I guess that is easy to do it. Uh, the recommendation is, la recomendación es que lo terminen hoy mismo, todos los ejercicios, uh, para que ya mañana estén set, right? Because uh, with, the, with all the programs. Uh, well, that's all for today. Uh, tomorrow, mm. tenemos uh, auto practice. Okay, voy a traer otros temas y, otros, y otra actividad. 
Ok, for practicing. Eh, si tienen preguntas, como les dije ayer, dudas de, de temas anteriores o algo que, aunque sea algo adelantado también, que no sea de este, ya hoy ya pueden ser incluso preguntas de otros futuros, lo que sean. Ok, eh, relacionadas a gramática, topics, podemos discutir eso mañana también. Ok. okay. So, thank you very much okay. for your time and okay. I will see you tomorrow, uh, teacher. Permítame, eh, Patrick. Quiero leer bien porque no veo. ¿De quién es? ¿De qué? ¿La plataforma de qué? ¿Quiénes faltan? Yes. Ah, ok. Va, entonces, pero ahí tendría que salirme y ver list, la lista. A ver si voy a pasar la asistencia, lo voy a ver y ahí les pongo en el chat si hace falta algo. Ok. Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you very much, people. So have a very good night. Good See night, you teacher. Good night, night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.